how can you radiate and develop fearless feminine energy? But first, like and subscribe to this channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. Here at All Things Woman, we discuss femininity, womanhood, and I give you overall life advice. So if any of that interests you, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. How can you develop and radiate fearless feminine energy? I used to be the kind of person who was anxious about everything. I feared what would happen if this, if that. What would they think? What are they going to say if, if this doesn't happen, what's going to happen to me? When I began to understand that the worst someone can say to me is no, that's when my mindset shifted onto understanding that I am never stuck in any situation. When I begin to understand that the worst someone can say is no, and that I'm not stuck in a situation, that if they don't give it to me, I can get it another way. If this doesn't happen for me, then something else that is better will. When I develop that kind of mindset, I begin to live more fearlessly. Now, I'm not saying not to have fear because fear is an emotion that was given to us to protect us. So, of course, you should have a healthy fear if you see flames in your house. I am talking in regards to relationship with people. I am talking in relationship to how people treat you and what people do for you. When you have a fearless mindset about your provision and you understand that you are never stuck, you begin to operate more different. You begin to really radiate and be comfortable in your feminine energy. The feminine energy is rested. The feminine energy is assured. A woman that operates in her feminine energy understands that she is never stuck. She operates by faith. She knows that if this didn't work out for me, something else will. If the timing of this was not right, then it's okay. Something else is coming down the line. She is never stuck. But when you live with a mindset as if you don't take this opportunity, there's not another one coming, that is a very stuck, stagnant way of being. And feminine women do not operate that way. We don't allow someone's no to us to stop us from moving forward in life. Let me give you an example. Let's say you work in a workplace and they thought you thought they were going to promote you to a certain position, but turns out they found a better candidate for the position. You don't look at it as if, okay, well, I'll never be a manager. I'll never be a senior partner. I'll never be an executive. You look at it as, okay, they told me no for this position, but something else might open up or better yet, they're not the only company offering this position. Now I have to look outside of this company. I wanted to stay here, but I guess I'll go elsewhere. You have options. Or let's say you're in a relationship and that relationship doesn't work out. And no doubt, depending on how long you've been in the relationship, it might hurt to end it. But you have to tell yourself that, okay, this relationship didn't work out. We've been together for years. This hurts. You're going to feel it, but you're going to understand and see you will live another day. That song by Tony Braxton, my absolute favorite artist, who says, I can't breathe without you. I can't live without you. That sounds really good in lyrics, but honestly, you will breathe another day with or without him. You will breathe. So when you develop that mindset that you're good regardless of what happens, that as long as God gives you breath in your body, that you will be able to move forward, that's when you can begin to live more fearlessly. You don't allow people to tie down your emotions. When you live in fear all the time, you are giving other people the opportunity to control your emotions. When you leave the trajectory of your life in somebody else's hands, you submit yourself to their will. Something simple, let's say a day off at work. We, most of us have jobs or you work a side job or a career. And let's say they don't give you the day off. You put in a request to have a day off and you really wanted that day just to relax or you need something, you have something to do, you have a doctor's appointment. And let's say you look in the little system or you look on the paper and it says they denied your request. Are you not going to go to your doctor's appointment because they denied your request? 
Are you not going to take your mental health day even though you absolutely know you need it because you're on the brink of anxiety? No, you're going to go ahead and say, okay, they denied my request, but what I have to do is very important. So I guess I'll just be calling out that day. I'm not encouraging you to be reckless or to be disrespectful towards your employer, but a lot of the issue with women not being in their feminine energy is that we have more loyalty to employment and everybody else than what we have to ourselves. You have a choice. You're never stuck. They might not like the idea that you just went ahead and called out even though you had submitted that day and you tried to do it in decency and order, but if the outcome was not what you needed and what you need to do is still very important, you have to make the choice. You know what? The worst thing that's going to happen is either they're going to have a talk with me, um, they're going to warn me, or who knows, they might let me go. But just like I found that one, I'll find another one. Okay, I've had talks before. It's not going to kill me, but not going to the doctor might. So I'm going. Choice. When you understand you have choice, you live more fearless. When you understand that your relationships with people, while they may be important depending on who it is, if a person is no longer treating you right, you don't feel um, odd having that uncomfortable interaction with them in order to let them know that you are no longer filling this relationship. Or better yet, you have no problem removing your presence and getting distance because now you live more fearless. You now understand that your well-being and how you feel about yourself is more important than trying to please everybody else and to seek their approval so in return you can be calm and at ease. If your ease and relaxation and your peace of mind is always determined on outside forces such as other people's decisions toward you, you will always live in a state of fear. So a woman living in a fearless way, radiating fearless feminine energy, while she might respect the opinion of other people, while she might respect and value other people, when, she, when it comes down to it, she understands that she is never stuck. And she doesn't look at someone's no as being an end all to whatever it is that she needs to do or whatever she needs to accomplish or however she feels. You have to develop a healthy fearlessness. I'm not saying that you suddenly start picking up snakes and anacondas and, you know, thinking that you're just, you know, you're immortal. I'm not saying that kind of fearlessness, but I am saying that you should be fearless to the point that you do not fear the consequences of taking care of yourself in a healthy way, because nobody is going to look out for you other than God and yourself. Most people are very self-serving. So when you understand that as well, it helps you develop a more fearless mindset because you understand, okay, I'm not willing to sacrifice my well-being in order to make other people feel comfortable. And I'm saying this in a healthy way. I'm not saying if you want to do something spiteful or malicious that you should be going around doing those kind of things. Feminine women don't do things like that. But I'm saying when you have a healthy thing that you need to focus on or you need to do or something you want to accomplish and somebody tells you no, you're never stuck. You have that fearlessness about yourself that you understand your no means nothing. I have options, okay? So radiate fearless feminine energy by not allowing anybody to put a hard stop to what you want to do and accomplish in life. You always have options. You're never stuck. And as long as God gives you breath in your body, you will always have the opportunity to do what it is you need to do. All right. Like and subscribe to this channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. If you have not gotten the book, How to Be a Feminine Woman, The Blueprint, it is available on Amazon in paperback and ebook form. Get the book. It is a quick read, eight chapters, power packed to help you have the blueprint to start your feminine journey and leaning more into your femininity. Hit that high hill emoji and leave it in the comments section if you made it to the end. I appreciate you. Hit the like button. Take care.